This video will show you how to use OpenAI's API to directly interface with GPT-4 through the playground, allowing you to have better control over your prompts. So once you're at platform.openai.com, you can then come over to the playground section. And here is where we get to really dive deep into the different sorts of settings we can use with ChatGPT-4. So here we got the chat mode, but you also have the complete and edit mode. We can now choose the GPT-4 model, which is available to the public. You can change the temperature. You can choose the maximum length you want the reply to be. And we got these different settings down here. I wouldn't mess with these settings as this can cause the prompts to go weird. First off, I'll start with some system examples. You are going to be my English to Spanish translation assistant. And if we type, hello, my name is and submit we are now going to get the reply hola now what about apple or we could do what or we could do how are you today como se esta so if you wanted to put this into a chatbot for example you just have an instant translation assistant right here it doesn't even need to connect to like google translates apis or anything we'll do another one write a formal complaint letter about a faulty product We'll say my toaster and submit and it's going to start writing our complaint letter so subject complaint regarding faulty product uh dear manufacturer I trust this finds you well and it's the product they bought from and you just have to fill in this yourself so instead of googling this you could just do it on here straight away or say you implemented this into an api you could just fill in these fields with variables and you're off to the races Anyway, let's go on to our next one. You are now my email writing assistant. You are going to write responses in formal email format. So let's say I'm writing a email to my employees about how great they are and submit. And that's going to appreciating your exceptional work and dedication. Dear team, I wish to extend my sincere appreciation and it's going to go off and write that off. And now we're going to try another use case. This one will be good if you have like a chatbot on your website and you want to sort of semi-automate that. You could say, you are my chatbot assistant. Users will message you asking for help. Please answer their questions as best you can. But if you don't know the answer, please tell them to email support at supportineedhelp.help. So we're going to pretend we are the user here messaging this chatbot. So we'll say, hi, I need help about what the sun is and then the sun is a star at the center of our solar system it's nearly perfect what you would also have though is under here your company details like what your company does and what your products are and like faqs that the chatbot can then leverage to answer your users queries even better so now let's ask something they probably don't know i need help with fixing my bridge I don't know how to walk. Submit. See how I can handle this. And see at the bottom here, if you need further assistance or if the problem is not solved, please email support at ineedhelp.help for more help. That's really good that it's added that at the end. Now to check how much money we use during this session here, we can go up to manage account and usage and then you can see how much we've used so 10th of july i mean look, look at other days i've been using it and i've only used 0.05 cents so it's very cost effective but if you are using this for an enterprise application it will definitely add up obviously thanks for watching just a quick demo here i'll see you next time cheers